A Small Step by Nina Sood. Every night, when Niyati drew the curtain before sleeping, she saw Sudhir, the Dhobi's son, sitting with his head bent over his books in the dim light of the street lamp. He worked quietly till his parents wrapped up for the day and were ready to go home. Niyati wondered what time he slept every day. Two years ago, Sudhir's mother Seema had proudly brought sweets to Niyati's house to share the news that Sudhir had been admitted to the same school as Niyati's. He's such a bright boy! Niyati's mother Jyoti had congratulated Seema. You can't fit a square peg in a round hole, Niyati's father had said after Seema left. He won't be able to manage. He knows very little English. The words stuck in Niyati's mind. The thought worried Seema and her husband too. But Sudhir learned fast and the school gave extra lessons to the new students. Still, sometimes he did find the going tough. I must work hard to fulfill Amma and Baba's expectations. Sudhir told himself. Every day after school, Sudhir helped his parents. Niyati often saw him carrying heavy loads of crisp, freshly ironed clothes on his head and the lighter ones in his arms. He did not mind delivering the clothes to the neighborhood houses. It gave him a chance to talk to anyone who was willing to have a little conversation in English. How difficult Sudhir's routine must be, Niyati said to her mother one day. I see him every day going about helping his parents and then trying hard to fight sleep to complete his homework at night. Then he must wake up early to go to school. Don't feel sorry, Niyati, said her mother. Where there is a will, there is a way. Think how you can help him. No, ma. He may not like it if I offer to help. He already works very hard. What he needs is a little push, an opportunity to do better, said Niyati. Niyati was two years ahead of Sudhir at school and the captain of the school's debate society. She knew higher studies in the next few years would require not just effort but also resources. I must find a way to ensure that he achieves the success he is capable of. Jyoti smiled. I know, Niyati. Once you have made up your mind, you will not sit back. Niyati spoke to Sudhir's mother and offered politely. Aunt Seema, Sudhir is intelligent and smart. I see him studying till late in the night. If you think he would like to use the computer... I have at home, he can come over to do his homework and projects. He can also use the books I have. Seema was taken aback. She had never thought anyone would ever be concerned about Sudhir in this way. She was proud that her son went to the best neighborhood school and was doing well. But she also knew his needs were increasing. They could not afford to buy a computer. He had to borrow notes from his classmates and teachers to complete his projects. He was an affectionate child and had good friends in school who willingly helped him out. Thank you, Niyati. I'm sure Sudhir would like that very much, said Seema. That evening, when Sudhir came over to Niyati's house, she saw him hesitate. She immediately put him at ease by chatting with him about his studies and his friends at school. Then she took him to her room and showed him all the books she had. You can borrow any book you like, she said with a smile. He chose an encyclopedia on animals. Go ahead, you can use the computer too, she said. He quietly sat down to research for his project on whales. Niyati left him to make his notes. 
Soon, Sudhir started coming twice a week. He read on the computer for an hour or so, and he spent another hour reading some books and newspapers. He sometimes discussed things with Niyati and asked her many questions. Niyati was impressed with his curiosity and tried her best to clear his doubts. She also suggested books and websites where he could find the information he needed. Sudhir's hesitation vanished in no time. He loved chatting with Niyati and her family. He was able to finish his work faster. His performance in school improved. His confidence increased and his routine became more organized. One day, Sudhir excitedly came to see Niyati straight after school. Thank you, Didi. He beamed. I've got an A plus for my project on wheels. I've also won the prize for the best speaker in the inter-class debate competition. I couldn't have done it without your help. Congratulations, Sudhir. Don't thank me. It's your hard work. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a small step. Smiled Niyati, feeling proud of Sudhir.